guys, it's Neva. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you want to hit the notification bell, you're going to know every single time one of my new videos comes up, which is every Monday to Friday. And if you want to follow me on my other social media, I will leave that for you around the screen. And if you want to email me, that would be awesome too. And any information, don't worry about it because I always leave you all the things you need to know in the description box below. So, on with the video. As you saw by today's title, um, we are amping up for camping. We leave this Sunday and probably get back on Wednesday at some point. So it's not an overly long trip, but as I told you guys, um, and if you're new here, uh, we look after my father-in-law. He lives with us. He's almost 90 and I'm his full-time caregiver. So whenever we can get away on these little you know, two, three day trips. They're, they're a nice refresher for my husband and I. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we're here to talk about is prepping for camping and pretty well what I pack. So how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna leave you for a minute and then I am going to kinda show you everything here and give you an idea of what I bring, the whys, the how comes, and how I figure out what I still need to pick up and just kind of sort of the method to my madness. Okay, so we'll see you shortly. Hi guys. <laughs> so since we're learning, this is the best that I'm gonna be able to do. And uh, hopefully you guys don't see anything you're not supposed to. Anyway. So this is part of the mess, okay? Now, when we go camping, or as you guys know, I call it glamping, I need to be, have it easy peasy. I need it to be comfortable. Um, I am going through the change. So I'm cold one minute and I'm hot as hell the next. So when I'm packing, I have to take that into account. So I tend to have to bring a little bit more than my husband. So usually when we go, the priority, and any woman that's my age, you know this, socks, <laughs> because feet get cold. Guys, it's a serious thing. So I usually bring two to three pair with me because it seems to be that I have the problem at night you know, when you're sleep, when you're trying to sleep, my, my issues. Of course, your normal, um, you know, undies and bras and stuff. But one of the things that I love, and ladies, I suggest strongly that you find one that fits you right and you get it because my God, are they ever comfortable. I got this bralette um, from Fashion Nova. <laughs> it was one of the few things they actually delivered and I didn't have to get a credit for it. <laughs> Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Anyway, um, this guy has no support, <laughs> but I don't have nothing, so it really doesn't matter. But the front is lined and the back is not. I love this when I have on a nice thick t-shirt and I just don't feel like wearing a bra. Okay, so ladies, if that is something you can do, I suggest you get one or two or five because when I'm camping, I wanna be comfortable. Okay, the next thing. This is a dress. Now, you, you're gonna be like, why are you bringing a dress camping? I will tell you, one, this is shapeless as anything. It is uh, cheap. And also too, my husband and I usually, when we go camping, one night we'll go out for dinner. And it's not that it's anywhere fancy, it's just, I like, I'm, I'm a dress person. I'm, I'm not so much a pants person. So I usually bring one that I can just throw over my head and we're good to go, okay? And I wear this everywhere. So he let me keep it. <laughs> if, if you guys watched my Costco haul, 
I'll see what I can do about linking it here or I'll put it in, in the description box for you and you can, you can watch that. Um, a flannel shirt. Uh, again, same reason. I get cold and I usually pair this with my black tights. Okay, that's going to be one of my outfits. So that's that. And then along with my tights, I'm bringing two pairs of shorts. These are ugly as hell, okay? And I got these at, we have a secondhand store here called Talese. Look how big these are. They're gigantic and they have an elastic waist. <laughs> if my mother sees these, she's gonna just watch for her comments down below because she's told me three times to throw these out and I won't because for camping they're awesome because they're so comfy and especially too like if you're going to go hiking or whatever you don't want something tight right they don't look that cute but I don't care these are my jean shorts now I have one pair the only time that I wear these is with a bathing suit okay um I am not a shorts person um, and and I don't know if you can tell I'm gonna stand back because I got to show you something okay I am extremely short okay like I'm lucky that I have any leg at all like I go ankle knee hip like ass like there's no not a lot of leg and I just never thought that for me I, I felt like it was a good look so with a bathing suit and capri pants I bring one pair and you know yeah so for tops the usual I bring a few t-shirts and that's it usually two or three because we're only going to be there for a couple days uh this is the hard one jammies pajamas because really you would think this time of year you don't need it i bring them and 99 percent of the time i don't end up wearing them because i end up wearing my tights because i'm cold so we'll see what happens and then maybe you guys can help me with this because I'm not sure which one to bring. See, I have a whole lot of bathing suits, but the problem is when you lose a lot of weight, um, I went through first, ooh, should I be in a bathing suit? And then you get over that, right? And then, okay. I bought this one and this one I believe let me look at the tag yeah this one is from believe it or not additional but because of my figure my shape um, I can wear a size 12 in additional um, in a few things uh, I'm a size 14 in regular sizes so you kind of figure there, but I'm very full in the behind and you know, I've got hips, so No complaints. I, I like being an hourglass, but see this is the one bathing suit and it has the molded cups, which is awesome and It had like this it, It's it's open all the way here and then it had these extra ties that went around your neck, you know, if you had a fuller bust, but <laughs> I don't have that. So I just um, cut them, sewed it, and I made like a little bow. So that's one. Now this one is from the Ashley Graham collection. And this is a two piece. But you see, the sides are completely mesh okay i don't know if you can see that it's gorge i love this bathing suit but here's my problem this suit is a size 14. 
and sometimes like her I found that her bathing suits are very true to size so um, I'm worried about losing the bottom but guys the, the top of this is stunning like if you have a small bust I'm gonna put this on over my shirt I gotta show you this look at this and then it, it does up like a crop top and then you're completely it's got molded cups it's gorgeous but I don't know which one to bring because I don't want to bring two so why don't you guys let me know if it should be one piece or two piece okay now for the husband I basically brought the same thing for him and there's really nothing exciting there so oh shoes guys I don't know I'm probably saying them wrong we call them morels honestly my husband's a big guy <laughs> honestly these are the best shoes for camping boating hiking whatever you want to do these shoes are awesome we got exactly the same ones of course mine is pink if you haven't guessed I really like pink and they go um, Canadian they're around a hundred bucks but they're a great investment so if I got mine on Amazon um, if you want to check it out there they're fantastic shoes so I highly recommend these if you're a camper excellent and it enables you to bring one pair of shoes okay so I'll see you guys in a sec hey guys we're back so the last thing I want to talk about is toiletries now our toiletries are pretty fast and furious because um, other than the standards of your you know medications which we all take um, I have really curly hair as you guys have seen and my husband is bald so <laughs> Uh, we don't need to bring like brushes and combs and all that stuff. So I bring a pick and a hat. Um, by the way, this is my favorite hat, okay? Um, my husband got it from his company and I haven't been wearing it because I was worried. I, you know, I'm new to YouTube. Like, I don't want to offend anybody or, you know, do something wrong. So, but I had to show it to you guys because it is fantastic. And I am a baseball hat person. Like this, when I go camping, is my time. I don't even do my hair, okay? I wash it, I let it dry into a big, you know, curly ball, and then I go, mm, and put it in a hat. So a pick is all that we bring. Your standard shampoo and conditioner, which, to be honest, I don't wash my hair every day so um, usually I use the conditioner and not the shampoo because I only wash my hair like but once a week so and if you guys get grossed out I'll do a whole shit how I take care of my hair video if you guys want that let me know down below okay <laughs> now the other thing we're gonna get really real here Do we need to say any more? I'll tell you why. Because I don't care if you go to provincial parks in, you know, Ontario. I don't care if you go to any campground. How rough or how, you know, booze you go. There is nothing worse than if you go to an outhouse or a comfort station and there is no paper so always take a roll just in case um now as far as <laughs> my beauty regime i think i could probably hold it in one hand yes i can i'm going out of frame give me a minute is that it yes it is this is it 
I wash my face, I brush my teeth, I put my moisturizer on, deodorant, and yeah, that's about it, okay? Um, I don't bring makeup, I don't do all that, I, I can't be bothered. Um, and again, I'm, I'm going to tell you the CeraVe moisturizer, the best. It is not expensive, you can get it at your local drugstore. And I would tote this forever because guys, I am, I, like I keep telling you, I am this close to turning 49 and I have skin like the desert and this stuff is fantastic. I've not yet, expensive or not, found anything better for me. So just so you know. Now, the other thing. I get chewed alive. I have tried many products. This stuff is the best. It is the musk oil and um, it's basic, it stinks, it's horrid, but it's the best. Okay, so this is what we use. And of course, after bite gel, okay? Um, I should hold it right side up and then maybe I'll try and flip this. I don't know. But after bite gel, they have a regular and they have an outdoor. It's great stuff. So let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, a deck of cards because you never know. And for me, I'm so excited. I bought this book for my husband. It's the, uh, I think it's one of the, it's the newest Stephen King novel. Now, I have to be losing my mind because I am going to start this book when we're camping in the forest. I'm going to read Stephen King. I'm insane. But I'm so looking forward to it because I haven't really read um regularly since i quit smoking and that is seven years ago and i've had a real problem because i associate reading with smoking and reading was something that gave me a lot of pleasure so i'm gonna get into this and i'll i'll let you guys know how how this is going so guys i think that's it for today and um, I am going to get sunscreen as well. And I will do a vlog of our trip just like I have before. And I will see you guys on Monday. Love you like mad. Bye.